Well, Donald Trump won easily with the popular vote. There's no question about it. And the Electoral College, of course, the left big media is just stunned. Listen to uh, PBS. Jonathan Capart is claiming that the election may um, be uh, questioning Americans' belief in democracy. I can't help but wonder if the American people have given up on democracy. By voting in the democratic process? Okay. Uh, he's lost me and so many others. Let's bring in managing editor of Newsbusters, Curtis Hawk, also executive editor of Newsbusters, Tim Graham. That's a fun one that's been circulating online, isn't it? Yes. Well, I mean, that's not the only whining he did. But, you know, this is... Uh, PBS, Jonathan Capehart coming on and saying, it's not a democracy unless we win. Yeah. Uh, Democrats <laughs> equal democracy. It's very tired. It is tired. And, you know, Curtis, I'll play a little bit of The View. We just had Howie Carr on. They always say something that's just out of this, you know, other universe. And they're continuing here when they're talking about the worries they have for the working class. Mm. Yeah. It was pretty red yeah. last night. I, I don't know. I'm profoundly <coughs> disturbed. Um, I think if you look at the New York Times this morning, uh, the headline was America makes a, a perilous choice. I think that in 2016, we didn't know what we would get from um, a Trump administration, but we know now. And um, we know now that he will have almost unfettered power. And so I worry not about myself, actually. I don't worry about my station in life. I worry about the working class. I don't worry about my station in life. I mean, I'm elite. I'm rich, Curtis. Yeah. Why doesn't you just yeah. say that? It's the little people that are on welfare. Yeah, Bianca, isn't that interesting? She almost said, you know, I'm worried about these people who voted against their own interests. Um, this is a person that you wonder how many times or when was the last time she actually did her own grocery shopping. There was a similar thing that played out on Morning Joe this morning when Joe and Mika learned what the price of butter was. Um, oh, and, my and goodness. Basic necessities like that have gone up, 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 up. Uh, Sunny Hostin is worrying somehow about her rights when she lives in a, you know, multi-million dollar mansion. Her husband's a doctor. One of her kids goes to Harvard. Um, so life is pretty good for Sunny Hostin. So, of course, she has the right to complain about democracy. This is the <laughs> entire point about why they lost this election. You, it's kind of hard to care about democracy or abortion, which people realized is a state issue. So that's why some people yeah. voted for the re various referendums, but still voted for Republicans, which upset the media as well. Um, but you can't care about either one of those things if you can't afford to pay rent right. or, or buy butter. bread. I, I know, you know, the butler stocks the butter over there. And they're probably going, is that the salted or the unsalted? Or is it the, you know, c cultured or organic? I'm going to try and find that. That's a great point. Jimmy Kimmel. Is, this is one, this is epic because he is so unhinged and so upset. I mean, pet therapy animals to the rescue here. Let's play this. Just when they finally scrubbed the last of the ketchup off those White House walls. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what happened. Babe, hey, be honest. Last week, did you guys send that monologue to a Republican like I asked you to? Well, there's one where he was crying too as we hit the break. People, I mean, they clap because the sign says clap. I'm not so sure that people are still finding any of this funny. What do you think, Tim? Well, I mean, his audience does. I mean, but look, the, the main objective of his show, Colbert's show, Seth Meyers, they're, they're not there to be funny. They're there to be somehow therapy and affirmation. And, yeah, you know, obviously when we see Jimmy Kimmel... Uh, starting to cry over the results. It's just like, yeah, liberal tears put them in my mug. Yeah, well, I wonder uh, what the White House briefing is going to look like. We're watching the shot right there. We're supposed to start at 1.15. They're late. Karine Jean-Pierre will come up. Um, you know, my new book, Incoming, we talk about, you know, cheap fakes and everything they've told us in this, you know, truncated election season, how the, really the distortion and the complicit legacy media has worked against the American people. What do you think the future is? I'll ask you both this. For uh, big media, as we know, there's been workarounds with podcasts, alternative media, and it seems to get way more views than CNN would on any night or Jimmy Kimmel. First to you, Curtis. <laughs> 